What's up dudes and dudes to the internet, my name is Seth and we are back again for some more Sky Saga. And before we get started with the crazy adventure today, I wanted to show you this because we didn't get to explore uh, all the different aspects of the game in the last episode. They actually have dailies. So this is earn an exciting prize every day just for logging in. Now, I don't know if this is consecutive days. Do you have to log in every single day over and over? Or if we end up logging in for the first day, stopping our logging in for for like a week and then log in is it gonna give us the first daily reward again i don't know but we got 2,000 credits wait where'd that menu go i wanted to see all the goodies there we go if you press escape available in 23 hours okay uh so they got treasure ambers and all sorts of stuff like look at this different currencies uh and then as you go higher and higher in the tiers you get a llama wand which is like a legendary day nine is another big thing so on and so forth more and more real cool stuff like just getting better and better dungeon chest keys oh that sounds like it'll turn to be a cash shop item later on uh, and then an epic treasure keystone. Oh man, and then you could actually, is this refreshing or is it refreshing all the way after? Metal moon, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, page down. That's how you change your camera angles, my good sirs and madams, m'lady. Yeah. <laughs> how y'all doing today though, folks? Hope you're doing fantastic. Uh, needless to say, oh my goodness, the third person controls are gonna take a little while for me to get used to because of our character turning around a little bit slower than the camera angle itself. But we gotta head back to town, yo. While I wanted to start dancing around, my cat is now here. Yes, say hello, Bobo. And sit down, I'm trying to do stuff. He loves to freak out. That's one of the other big reasons why I cannot wait. Uh, I have a wireless headphones, right? But they require like Bluetooth. So I had to get like a USB Bluetooth thing online that I ordered. I, I really can't wait to actually get that though. Uh, anyways, looks like we got a couple extra quests here from this dude. Hand in five iron and get ourselves some cotton. Okay, sounds good to me, dude. Let's just rush right in and get to the adventure. Ow, fall damage is a thing. How do we do this? Use Megalith. Oh, we get to choose forest. Oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> this game has changed so much. This is such like this is such a huge overhaul. This is a much better system than what they used to have. Uh, so if you didn't know, folks, what you used to have to do was you would actually have this. Uh, this portal would be in your own. Uh, home world, which we had at the beginning of the episode, right? And that home world would pretty much just be desolate. Like nobody would be there outside of if you invited friends and stuff. So now they've got this one central portal here uh, and it just shows how many fragments it's going to end up costing for us to open the portal rather than, uh, not to mention expiry times on some of them. Uh, and this one's like free, but you have to be mastery rank 10. Dude. That's so cool. Okay, let's confirm the destination. Oh, it actually has an animation where he puts the thing into the thing. That's, that sounded weird. Okay, this is so cool, dude. Wait until the machine comes av becomes available. I like how he's la uh, smiling. I was gonna say laughing, but he's not. Ha ha ha! No! How do you get your friends to join you? That's a real question. Which photo is cooler? A dude with a bow and arrow that reminds me of Minecraft and fighting the dragon? Or Alpha 2000 who's just got a picture of a brick and a cool floating island fortress area? That one looks cool, but I like the bow and arrow. Aha! Oh man, who are you? Can I ever look that cool? Okay, uh, I see you're finally here, recruit. Listen up. My scouts tell me there are Aiden, uh, Ar Arden landmarks in the area. Uh, there is supposed to be an important map hidden in one of them, so that's why we're here. I've done. I. I I've. I'd have done it already, but I'm a coward and an idiot. Oh, okay. I'm ready, dude. This is so cool. Like, I can't believe how far this game's come. I'm really, really excited about that. That's one thing that you can always say about the Sky Saga dev team is they're very responsive to their fans. That's that's one thing that I'm very happy about, you know? Okay, can I talk to you again? You've got scouting to do. Stop wasting time. Okay, jerk, whatever. Ha! Can I destroy these barrels and boxes? Just barely, like seriously. Okay, first person it is. Third person is still a little, little bit weird. 
Okay, so at least we can destroy all these things. I don't know whether or not we're actually getting stuff worthwhile, though. Uh, that was the strongest pot I've ever seen. And at least we got some iron out of it. Ooh, it looks beautiful too. Unless that was like a different, I don't know if it was necessarily iron because that's one thing about this game, folks, is they've got a lot of different colored resources, which actually, like you wouldn't think so, but it does make a difference. Like, let's actually look at our inventory. Yeah, so we actually got earth iron instead of ash iron. Oh man, so all the different resources like that uh, do actually have a part to play in the gear design because if you craft a sword Let's actually see if we can do it right now. Where, where's our sword crafting? Where is that? X? What is X? Why are they trying to tell us to take a picture of something? Yeah, there we go We took a picture of a pot thing map uh, Another inventory. Let me let me see if I can figure this out. That's our friends list uh, P is for our character at least so we can see our color. Oh, we can change our color at any time Oh, that's kind of convenient. I don't know if it's changing our character though uh, But then you're gonna get to see oh, I still have all my old friends as well um, Okay, uh, then there's also your left hand right hand uh, equipment your armor overall your medals and stuff Okay, I'll select this beautiful one because apparently I have it as an alpha tester <laughs> And I don't know what these ones are probably from five million years ago, but man, this is so confusing I love it, but See, is that it? Okay, where's the where's the weapons? Aha, because we have to craft it out of the weapons anvil, not on our person. Rip me, I'm a scrub. That's why, and don't worry, I'm not gonna sit here for 50 years just breaking down all of these metal pots and stuff just for the resources. Okay, forget it. Let's just go out and explore the world. And yeah, our character does definitely seem to auto sprint. Ooh, so here's just normal ore. Uh, that's one thing that's always been kind of cool about this game is the fact that it makes the ore like very visible, you know? Like you're not really fighting to see what's going on. Granted, the nighttime does get very, very dark and it's gross, but hey, at least it's, you know, at least it's not as bad as some other games. So some other freak actually did just join our world. Uh, which kind of has me a little bit terrified here because how did you join me, dude? Are you just are you just a random? Are you gonna help me with the quest? Oh my, okay, they're scary. I did see a house over in the distance over there that I do want to check out though. Also, uh, looking at our map, what what is on our map right here? Is that above us? Oh wow, that's like a big airship up there, dude. Oh man, finally some incentive to actually uh, climb your way up to the other islands because otherwise there wasn't really much reason to do that in the earlier versions, right? Okay, so let's go check out this house. What was that? What was that? Oh, bandits! Bandits, it's our first conflict! Okay, bring it! There's like five million of you guys! Oh my goodness gracious! Huh! Yeah! Dude! This is so cool! Huh! <laughs> Come here, you! I mean, I can barely see you, unfortunately. Let's see if we can get the camera a little bit further away. Okay. Okay. Bring it. Bring it, you. This guy's got a hammer. Uh, we also got forest essence on the ground right there. Lots of stuff we're going to have to pick up from these guys. Whoop. Bring it on. You freak. First person would probably be the way to go, honestly speaking. But I'm going to jump around like a freak anyways because I think it's cool. Oh, my. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> okay. This is so cool, dude. And we actually get to play it with random people. Oh, dude, he's got a good knife. Oh, how? How are you so skilled, senpai? Teach me. Like, seriously. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so uh, let's actually zoom the camera in a little bit here. I keep forgetting that there actually is power attacks as well, I think. Dude, I'll save you. Don't worry! I mean, I know you're like super powerful and one-shotting everything, but I'm still gonna save you nonetheless, okay? I know that you need my help. Oh, these enemies all respawned! So the enemies respawn in the hunting zone as well, which I, I guess is actually really, really good. And they respawn very, very quickly too, because it means infinite resources. You don't gotta really worry about it, you know? Get wrecked. All right, let's go into the mines of Moria here and see if we can actually find something worthwhile because I don't know. I mean, even though there was that house out there, which was beautiful. Oh, I see a chest. 
I see a dungeon chest. I also see a trap and a very special weird enemy there. Can I open that? Aha! Okay. Let's see if we can- how- how do we- where's blocks? Where's blocks? We don't really have that many. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Alright. You're scaring me! You need a stronger tool to mine the uh, resource that we accidentally ended up hitting. Okay. I mean, at least we can kind of stun lock these guys. And they're really making this treasure chest worth our- uh, worth our weight, like... We're really, well, wrong term, but you know what I mean. Like, it was a difficult battle, but we did it. I also like how this generated with a, a, a cave underneath it, you know what I mean? Like, the generation has gotten so much better with this game as well. Okay, okay, our first explorer's chest. What'd we get? Anything worthwhile? Did we just get a bunch of money? Or did we get any gear? Ooh, oh, that's just a heroic essence. So we got armor steel plates, so at the least we could uh, grab those. Can we steal this chest? Doesn't look like it. We need a stronger tool to steal it. Okay, okay, I see how it goes. Now, what about this? Is this gonna give us some iron? Yeah, okay. Uh, so that's the thing, too, is we're gonna need lots and lots of iron in general just because uh, the way that it kind of works, folks, if you don't know this game, is all of these different resources, at least in the older versions, I don't know if it still does, but you would actually, like, turn a piece of iron into uh, uh, an iron rod or an iron uh, ore and stuff like that, right? And it would cost tons and tons of weirder and weirder, like, different resources to actually get them uh, to craft into what you needed, right? Okay, so anyways, I could sit here smacking stuff all day long. Oddly, I'm having a real good time doing it, which says something about my uh, brain here, but I want to go explore and, uh, you know, actually kill things. Dude, dual pickaxes, I like it. This guy knows where it's at, because that's that was always what you ended up doing, right? Speaking of which, yeah, let's do it. Let's join our brother here and actually get our hands on a second pickaxe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! There we go! Now we can mine with insane efficiency! Oh, dude! Yeah! There we go! Now we're killing it! I shouldn't be nearly as excited about this as I am! Okay, so we can still put our torches down on the ground, or we can just pick them right back up. We don't want to use most of our torches on this mission that's gonna go away uh, as soon as we're done with it. Ooh, there's stuff up there! That's gonna take me a little while to actually get there, though. But I am honestly surprised how crazy- oh. How crazy this cave is. Is loot shared, by the way? No, it's not. It's individual loot. Okay. Uh, but this is insane, dude. Like, there's so much stuff around, and the animations of the characters have changed a lot. Can you steal stuff from other players? I would hope that you can't. Uh, but I'm gonna spend some time mining out this area. Alright, so it was actually one of our quests to mine out 15 of the, uh, keystone fragments that we just got. So, I guess they really wanted us to do it. But, uh, even though there is that area, like, right up there, we don't really have enough blocks to do that. So I'm just gonna head back to the surface and, uh, see if we can explore a little more. All right, so now we can go check out this cave, or uh, cave, this house over here where this other guy is exploring already. And uh, another thing, too, I would say to keep in mind, folks, is as you're out exploring the world, you definitely want to keep an eye on your uh, mini-map, because as you can see, it's actually pointing us in the direction of all these loot chests, which these are a big deal, because they're taking care of a lot of the tedious resources that normally we would have to mine up ourselves. Like, really, I, I'm really loving this update. Like, seriously. I, these could have been in the game for a very long time, though, folks. I honestly don't know. That's what I'm saying is, uh, you know, the last time I played this game was such a long time ago that, for all I know, these loot crates and all this junk that's around... Uh, was probably added a long time ago. Now, I don't know whether or not... I'm just going to naturally assume 
is this instance based? Because that dude came right up here and didn't open the chest and take the loot. Which tells me that maybe the ores and resources that you find out in the world, maybe those aren't shared, but maybe the chests, like, and all the special loot, maybe all of that is something that's actually shared between players, you know? That would be pretty cool. So we just got a whole ton of loot out of that place. Uh, and now we can actually go into this windmill here. And there's enemies, okay. You guys have maybe, uh, maybe taken the wrong place uh, to call your own, you know? Get out of here, rogue. You go ahead and stand there and do nothing. Just look beautiful, all right, while I kill you. Oh my goodness. I wish they would drop some loot too. That'd be really cool. I mean, they're dropping the gold and stuff, which I guess is good because technically speaking, we could use it uh, to buy ourselves some new gear, right? Honeycombs. Ew, delicious. I love it. Okay. Uh, anything special up here? Usually they actually have like... That's the other thing too I would say is why you gotta really keep your eye out on your map because aha there's some secret loot right up there. So let's see can we actually reach this? Maybe? Okay we're gonna have to dig our way up. Okay this is gonna be the moment of truth right here because this guy is actually bricking his way up. Don't worry I got you buddy. Uh, and we can see firsthand if he's actually going to open up this chest uh, for himself. Which I think, yeah, I think we actually got to open our own instance of it. I I'm just going to say that we did, because otherwise I don't know why he would have came up here, right? Okay, let's fight these bad guys. Get out of here, you! The combat is, like, so much more responsive, too. I love it. Like, seriously, they've really stepped up the production of this game. Let's try and use a heavy attack. If we even can. Wow! Okay, heavy attacks are special power moves. Did you see that? Like, seriously, dude. That was insane. That reminds me of, like, Secret of Mana. That was awesome. Dude, I want to do it again. So we got to hold the left click. I I'm holding the left click. Do we have to hold shift or control or something? Or do we uh, click twice and hold? I don't even know how we did that, man. I really don't even know how we did that. That was so cool, though, wasn't it? Hello, little chicken. Oh, you guys are adorable. I don't want to kill you, even though you're probably delicious. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get out of these. These woods are way too thick, like seriously. Downsize it, guys, or at least put a bunch of paths down. Aha! Found some type of evil mansion, which just looks beautiful. I can't believe we've already spent, like, so much time in this whole episode in this area alone, you know? And yet, and yet it's still, like, so exciting and cool. Now, we'll probably, let's try and see if we can explore just this last place today, because I'm assuming this is going to be the dungeon, and it shouldn't be too long, uh, I'm assuming. Maybe it secretly will be. I don't know, but at least we're getting tons and tons of resources and money out of it. Uh, I guess I will keep that in mind for the future, though, uh, just because I noticed that we are on time. So I'll try and keep the exploring, uh, like I'll try and do a little bit more cuts in the videos from now on. All right, I don't know if there necessarily is anything inside this place other than the basement and all of the loot and stuff. Aha, so there is a secondary floor. Did we actually end up getting that uh, special chest or uh, special key item that the game was telling us to get? Um, you were supposed to take three photos of different forest creatures. This guy's a boss! I just realized because he was not going down. Oh my goodness gracious, there's a lot of bad guys. Like seriously. I just realized that that was a boss. We got very lucky there because otherwise if he started attacking us, we could have gotten in some serious trouble there. Uh, we already don't even seem to really have anything to heal ourselves up. Ooh, we got a forge here though. Okay, wow, our inventory is getting so full. Can we steal this and use it on our cornerstone? You need a stronger tool. Oh no. Okay, so what can we make out of this? Uh, we can make an armor anvil. Ooh, yeah, we're get, definitely gonna grab that one for ourselves back at home base. And then there's also a uh, weapon anvil. Oh, I see. So they still have this time to craft thing going on, which uh, I wonder if that's gonna end up changing once the game gets further in development. Okay, so we need one of these, which is gonna take five seconds. This is why uh, in our own like home area, we're gonna have to craft like tons and tons of these forges. 
Oh, we need four of these weights. Okay, we're gonna have to craft tons of these forges just because otherwise the time is gonna add up and up and up rather than us just my, uh, forging them all at once at five different forges, right? Meanwhile, the whole time we already had enough iron weights and didn't need to craft them at all. <laughs> all right, so we did end up getting this quest item at least, which tells me we can probably end up getting out of here. Uh, so click and hold to power attack when your power bar is filled. Okay, so it's kind of like a rage meter. That's what was going on, because they want us to do that three different times on a bunch of different enemies. But we're also supposed to take a bunch of lovely little pictures of these little rabbits. Do you want to keep this photo? Sure, why not? Hello, you little freak. Did we end up completing that quest or what? Uh, one of three photos of these little guys. Do you want to keep your photo? No, I don't. But did that still count anyways? No, they actually want us to keep the photo. Oh, three different creatures. Okay. Uh, and then take photos of different landmarks. Was this a landmark that counted as us taking a picture of it? No, it didn't. Okay, so we were supposed to have taken a picture of some of the other stuff we were exploring. Do bees actually count towards the, uh, creature thing? No, but for some reason it counted towards the, uh, taking pictures of the environment at least. Well, anyways, let's just talk to this scout because otherwise we are on time and we can always take pictures of other things, right? Um, you're wasting time here, recruit. Scout, I already did. I have the quest item right here in my hand. You can't equip it. What are we supposed to do then? Or do they want us to do all this other stuff first? Aha! I found some sheeps hidden out on an island. Take that, you stupid animals. Okay, so what are we supposed to do as well? Personal quests, aha, so there's something about having a bunch of extra torches So let's just craft a couple more of these right here. That should finish that one up Yeah, so it is a rage meter you end up building it up through combat and then we hold the click and Let go of it and then he goes bonkers and kills everything dude. That's so cool like seriously, oh I see it's without taking damage. That's the whole thing that's going on. Did you see how we dodged that arrow like a boss? Man, alive, die. Yes, charge attack of destiny. I don't know why it plays dubstep for some reason, but it's epic. Dubstep move. <laughs> the game also really wants us to, feed a, to defeat a wolf but I don't know if there is any around. Okay, now suddenly this person actually is going to talk to us about delivering the map. There you go. Thank you very much for that one. Uh, not bad for a recruit. Not bad at all. I'll take a look at the map you found and let you know if I need you again. Okay. Uh, for now, you can help out some of my other recruits. One in particular struggling to deal with the shattered lands. Talk to Peregrine. He'll ask you something or rather. Where is he? Where, where, where is this other person? Move to the next step. Okay, well, anyways, that's all the time that we have for today, so I'm gonna have to try and figure that one out. Sorry that this episode was a little bit longer, everybody. I'm gonna try and cut that down in editing, but thank you so much for watching. Very much appreciate it, and I would also appreciate if you would hit that like button, share your favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. Sign on, stay epic, everybody. Bye.